I thought that it would be fun if I hopped on here and share with you guys what I am planning to use from my stash this Halloween crafting season. So I've mentioned many times before that Halloween is my favorite holiday. I have lots and lots of Halloween crafting uh, stuff and it can be very overwhelming to me. So typically what I like to do is go into my stash and just pick out a few collections and embellishments and things that I want to focus on trying to use and not really worry about anything else, just focus on those things. So I've done that and I thought it'd be fun to kind of share what my plans are, what I'm hoping to use this season. Not to say that I won't use anything else, but this is just kind of where I'm focused at the moment. Okay, so um, I always like to see those fun stash videos that people share um, but this will just make it a little bit more manageable. Um, okay, so first up, I have this, um, Die Cuts with a View mo uh, Monster Movie Collection paper pad, and I am going to be using this to work on my October daily from last year. So I'm usually about a year behind in my October dailies. I take the pictures, I journal, and keep track of, you know, which pictures go with which date. And then typically over the summer is when I actually make the album. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm using this collection. And this has some really, really fun pattern papers in here. I wish that there was like ephemera to go with it. I wish they had a digital collection of this. I have searched high and low. I know I can I can cut these out and use these as ephemera, but this is just like the cutest little collection. Um, and I am going to be putting it in this right here, which is going to be my October daily from 2023. So um, I had this made. This is a handcrafted uh, traveler's notebook. I ordered it from a company that makes custom uh, traveler's notebooks. I'll leave the link to the company in the description box below because I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I did have this made to hopefully coordinate with this pattern with this pattern paper. I knew I wanted to use this and so I wanted an album that would match. And I already have put the papers in here, the inserts, and so I'm ready to just start actually putting the pictures and the journaling in. Um, so I have already started setting it up. Um, I just haven't actually done any of the, um, uh, you know, documenting per se. So this is a greeting card that I thought was really cute and would look cute in here. So yeah, so this should be fun. So I'm going to be using this. Um, so I'm going to be working with that. And I do have a couple of the six by six too. And I think it's pretty much the same. It's just a smaller scale. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of one collection I'm going to be using for documenting. Okay. And then of course I've already started using the happy Halloween collection from American crafts and I've been doing a bunch of crafting with that. So I'm going to continue using this collection this year. I really enjoyed it from last year. And so I've already been making a bunch of fun goodies with that. So I've got the whole collection. I'm going to be using that. And then I'm also have pre-ordered some Paige Evans Tricks and Treats collection. I'm loving that collection. I think I'm just going to, you know, love everything about it. And so I did pre-order that collection. And then I also pre-ordered the Photo Play Little Boo thing, which is a pink uh, Halloween collection. So those are the collections that I think I will be using. So with that in mind, um, I've pulled out some things for my stash that I hope will sort of coordinate with that and some things I'm wanting to use. Okay, so here's what I pulled out. So I found these um, bags that I bought last year. I got these at Michael's. They're super cute. They're just little treat bags. There's pink and neon green and orange. So I pulled those out. I pulled out this banner, which is also from Michael's, although I don't know if that's from last year or not. Um, but I thought this would be fun to use. Uh, I won't use it as a banner. I'll use these as ephemera pieces, but super cute. I found these ornaments that I got at Walmart. In fact, there's several packs of these because when I found them, I thought they were so cute. I stocked up. Um, and they have these pastel colors and they're just really cute little ornaments. 
I haven't seen a lot. This was the only year I saw these Halloween ornaments. And then never again. Uh, but they're really cute. They're just like little pieces of like MDF. Hobby Lobby vintage candy corn stickers. I've been holding on to these since the dawn of time, it feels like. What year is this from? 2019. Back when they used to sell Halloween stuff. So super cute. Uh, I found this greeting card that I had picked up. I think this will go um, with this, this album. So I pulled this card out so I can stick it in there. I uh, found these little recollections. Bats, glitter bats with googly eyes. Super cute. Um, also found these recollection stickers. They have like little potions. Super cute. I got this at Walmart last year and I thought it would be fun um, to try to put it either in an album or craft with it. It's like these huge pieces. It's supposed to be a scavenger hunt game, but I thought the die cuts were just super duper cute and that I could probably use these. These are sort of pastel colors, so I'm thinking they may go well with that Paige Evans collection. They're, cut, they're pretty big, so I'm not sure how I will use them. And then it came with these scavenger hunt checklist pages and then these little stickers, which I thought I could definitely use these stickers. So super cute. Uh, I found these felt bats that I got at Target a while back. They're just little felt sticky bat die cuts. Some more of these bags. I pulled out these stickers. I don't have this collection, but I do have a sheet of these stickers, so I thought I would try to use those this season. Some of these little ghosts from Target. Okay, uh, these are some stickers from Michaels. I think they actually still have these. Um, these are just some Halloween stickers I thought were cute and would probably match some of the collections I'm going to be using. It's got some chipboard well, not chipboard, like uh, ephemera pieces here at the top. And then some 3D stickers and some puffy stickers. I pulled out this very vintage Sandy Lion Essentials sticker. Uh, these eyeball stickers that I got from Target several years ago. Uh, this eyeball ephemera. I bought this in a D stash. Somebody was selling this online. It's from Recollections. And again, I thought it would be good in that um, December daily, or not December daily, October daily album. So I grabbed those, uh, this little Frankenstein monster, little mummy sticker, uh, this huge thing of trims that I bought last year and never used any of them. So I'm going to get these out and use them. Lots of Halloween trims. These are from Michaels. They'll probably have something similar again this year. Uh, these are some chipboard stickers from Walmart years ago. And I bought a whole bunch. Um, well, actually, they're not stickers, I don't think. They're just um, chipboard pieces. They're supposed to be like table scatter. And I bought them because... They're just awesome. <laughs> and chipboard is so hard to find now. So I'm really glad I have these. But yeah, I pulled these out so I can use some of these. Um, let's see. I pulled out all of these cupcake liners. I think we got these last year at Dollar Tree. I'm going to try to use some of these this year. I didn't use any of them last year. So uh, that's the spider. I got two of those spider web ones. This is the one with the bats. So I'm going to see what I can do with these. I'm sure I'll think of something. So pick, pick, pulled those out to use. Uh, I've got these little spider paper clips from Doodlebug. Some little sparkly bat stickers. These candy corn bags. I think I got these from Joann's last year. Uh, these glittered ghost stickers from Paper Source. I got these last year. They may still have these in stock. Uh, the famous Target puffy stickers. Pulled those out so I can try to use some of those. Uh, these are some of my favorite doilies to use. They're spiderweb doilies. They're very thin and fragile, uh, but they make really great layering pieces. And these are from Tuesday morning. I don't know who originally produced them, but I got them at Tuesday morning. Some of this stitched 
tablecloth trim. Somebody made this for me, or I purchased it. I'm not sure which, but yeah, I want to use it this year. So I pulled that out. I pulled out these plastic skulls. I got these at Target. Of course, I just love the colors. Um, I thought when I bought them, I thought, okay, I could just throw them in a package, right? Like as box filler. But now I'm sort of wondering if I could screw in an eye pin at the top and turn them into dangles. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, let's see if these cute little ghost felt stickers from Michaels. I think these might be from last year. Okay, I've got these yarn ghost garlands that I want to take apart and tie these yarn ghosts onto things. I got these at Timu, so I want to use those. Some little pebbles, spider stickers, puffy stickers, some glittery ghosts. These look like they're from Michael's. Some glittery spiders here, also from Hobby Lobby way back when. I uh, pulled out these pumpkin treat bags from the Dollar Tree. I thought these might be good for some of the collections I'm using. Uh, I found these purple, pastel purple uh, treat bags from Walmart, and I thought these would be good with the Paige Evans collection. So I got those, pulled those out. Uh, this is something I've been hoarding since I got it. Um, I got mine at Tuesday morning and it creates like this little mason jar embellishment. And I think I only have one pack of this. I don't think I have any more than just this one pack. And I've been hoarding it for years. And I thought, okay, I'm going to get it out and actually use it this year. So I'm um, trying not to hoard things. Uh, I've been trying. I've been doing a pretty good job this year using stuff that I have been hoarding. Collections and things. So I'm trying to actually use the stuff I own. Uh, let's see. We've got these candy corn treat bags. I got these at uh, Oriental Trading. Pull those out. Uh, these are from Timu, some little Halloween bags. These are some stickers from Michaels. These are from a long time ago. I can tell they're pretty old. I always like to see what year this stuff came out in, but I don't know. This is old though. Uh, Tuesday morning, little skeleton embellishment. I might put that in my October daily. I uh, found these little felt stickers. I don't remember where I got these, but look how cute they are. I don't know where they came from. They're little eyeballs and Frankenstein monsters. Uh, this skeleton garland that I picked up at Dollar General last year, I want to take this apart and probably glue like some flowers or something up here in the hat, make them a little less scary and a little more cute. Uh, so yeah, I want to try to use that. Let's see, this is a huge pack of American Crafts Halloween ephemera. I got this at a crafty garage sale once. Somebody was selling a whole bunch of these, and so I stocked up on them. I pulled this out because I think this might go with that Paige Evans collection. This purple is sort of a light, lighter purple, and I think it will go well with her collection. Um, I don't craft with purple very often. Most of the collections I choose don't have purple. They have like pink or no purple at all. Um, and so I thought, well, this is my opportunity to use some of that up. Uh, these are some glittered bat confetti that came from Oriental Trading, and I thought I would try to use those up. Got some elaborate um, spiderweb doilies from Stampin' Up. My very last pack of 3D candy corn stickers from Little B. I had a few packs, and this is the very last one, but I'm not going to hoard it. I'm going to use it. Uh, let's see, some numbers from Ellie Studio. That will be good for my October Daily. Some little glittery witch hats from Hobby Lobby. Let's see here. Uh, this little random sticker, cat sticker. Uh, this is a black bat Ziploc bag that somebody gifted me last year. And so I pulled that out thinking I might reuse it. Some letter letter die cuts from Felicity Jane. Again, probably be good for the October Daily. 
some of these patches from last year that I got on Timu. Some of these little skeletons that I also got on Timu. Try to use those this year. Got some polka dotted uh, tissue paper from Hobby Lobby. Let's see. This is a stripe bag that somebody gifted me. I think I'll try to use again. These treat bags, I got these last year at either, I think they, these were at Home Goods last year and they have potion bottles on them. But the pink on this or the purpley pink is the perfect match to that Happy Halloween collection. So I pulled these out to use with that. So, and it came with these cute little tags that coordinate with these bags. So I grabbed those. Got some toe tag embellishments from Pebbles from Tuesday morning. Does anybody else get sad when they find stuff in their stash from Tuesday morning and they're like, oh, there's no more Tuesday morning. Um, I think I got these at Target or Walmart. These are American Greetings stickers and they have these pastel colors. So again, I was thinking maybe the Paige Evans collection. These are some bubble die cuts. I think, I think these are from Hobby Lobby. Some more of those um, doilies that I really like. They come in three different colors. Silver, black, and white. Okay, some more of these cupcake liners. These are pretty fun. Uh, here's some more of these ornaments from uh, Walmart. I've been hoarding these because they're just so flipping cute. Um, I think I did put one of these on the side of an October daily that I made, like as a dangle. Um, they're just these little candy corns with these ridiculously cute faces. And then here are these pumpkin ones. I wish they would come out with some more of these types of ornaments. They're just so cute. Um, and then here's some more of these. I did buy several packs of these because they're just so cute. Look how cute these are in these pastel colors. And these came out, I think, the year before last. Let me see. 2021. Yeah, 2021. So a couple, a few years ago, three years ago. So cute. Okay. Pulled out these napkins. I got these at... Probably Home Goods for $3.99. But I thought these would match that little boothing collection. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they were just too cute to leave on the shelf. So I grabbed those and pulled those out. Okay, we've got these little treat bags. I got these from Walmart. Little, little ghost faces. Thought I would try to use those somehow. Got some of these puffy eyeball stickers from Target. Uh, I pulled out these witch legs. I did use uh, some of these last year. I made some cauldron memory dexes with the witch legs sticking out. These are cupcake toppers. And this pack I bought came with a ton of them. Um, I've even used these as actual cupcake toppers at parties too. Um, when the Hocus Pocus movie came out, the second one, we had a little watch party at my house and we had, I stuck these in the cupcakes for little, you know, witch, witch cupcakes. But look, I still have a ton left. So I went ahead and pulled these out in case there's a way to use them this season. And you can still get these. I've seen these on Timu. They have them on Amazon. Um, you can find those a lot of places. Okay, we've got a couple of treat bags here, some uh, spiderweb ones, some pumpkins. Pulled those out. Pulled out all these patches. Um, these are some cupcake toppers. I actually bought these four cupcake toppers last year, and these are what was left over. So I thought I might be able to use these if I just trim off the bottom and then use them as ephemera. They're really nice, thick, almost like plastic. Uh, some more patches from Timu. I ordered these patches from Timu. And again, I thought these might look good in the October Daily. It's kind of the same vibe. So I pulled those out thinking I might use them in there. 
Okay, and the last few things here, we've got some stickers from Dollar Tree from years ago. Again, I thought these would look good with the Paige Evans collection because of the purple. And then I found these Martha Stewart candy cane, candy cane, no, candy corn uh, photo corners. And then the pastel mix from the 99, which is also sad because they have closed. Mm, that's sad. Um, okay, so that's that's what I pulled out to use, along with those collections that I mentioned. So this is a lot of stuff, but uh, this will be more manageable for me. I've got it all in a bag over here next to my desk. And so as I'm creating with those collections, I can kind of rummage through the bag and pull out things that I think will match whatever it is that I'm creating. Um, so, you know, if you are like me and you have a big stash and you feel a little overwhelmed, you might consider doing something similar. Uh, I will tell you, it definitely helps me, uh, create and actually use the things I have rather than being too overwhelmed to even open the drawer. Okay. I will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye.